four mil, these niggas sound crazy. Going through some shit, can't let it get to me. Can't let it take all of my time and all my energy. Gotta watch some cash, you claim that they are fucking kin to me. Gotta watch your friends before they turn into your friend of me. Going through some shit, can't let it get to me. Can't let it take all of my time and all my energy. Gotta watch some cash, you claim that they are fucking kin to me. Gotta watch your friends before they turn into your friend of me. All right, boys, welcome back to the Hawaii Tech Dynasty here. Uh, finally, the end of the season. Last episode, of course, we lost uh, our bowl game to Oklahoma State. Our boys put up a great fight. We only lost by 14. Uh, we had some highs, had some lows, seen some good. Um, you know, we couldn't get Mike Cutler and the boys, you know, wins before they uh, left the program. But, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So, of course, we're going to do the season recap here, go over the stats, go over the records, go over... You know what I mean? The offseason, the preseason, and gear up for season number five. So first new school record is by Shuff Johnson. He now has a school record for touchdowns in a career with 30. Moving along to school career receiving yard record, Mike Cutler breaks his own record, of course, naturally, with 4,035 receiving yards in his four-year career. That's an average of 1,000 yards a, a, a season, even though it might not have been, been that exactly, but that's a great, great average to, to leave a legacy here at a program. Mike Cutler also has the school record for receptions in the career with 258. That's that's dope. Trey Warfield breaks his own record with passing yards, passing touchdowns in the career. He now has 96, four away from 100. He also has a school uh, career record for uh, passing yards in the career. Uh, you know what I mean? 13,417 and counting because he's coming into his senior year. So we end the season off ranked number 20 in the nation. We finish nine and four. Peaked at number 13, of course, which was last week. Coming over here, man, we're going to take a look at uh, the bowl winners, the bowl results who won the Natty and everything like that. So Georgia did beat Auburn in the Natty, 31-21. Uh, LSU beat Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl. Pittsburgh lost to Stanford in the Orange Bowl. Ohio State lost to Florida State in the Sugar Bowl. Fiesta Bowl, Notre Dame blew out USF. Uh, Michigan State and Utah had a, a, a great game in the Rose Bowl. That game looks like it was fire. It went to OT, uh, more than one OT, okay. Um, South Carolina lost to Penn State. Bama beat uh, Nebraska. Mississippi State lost to Michigan. Florida lost to Clemson. Colorado State lost to Northwestern. UCLA beat, beat Syracuse. Tennessee beat Virginia Tech. Texas blew out Wisconsin. Kansas beat Arizona State. Kansas finishes the season ranked 18th in the nation. UCF loses to Fresno. So the Pac-12, man, even though we couldn't really get the job done, they got a lot of wins out here. School records here. Trey Warfield has every passing record except for passing touchdowns in the game. Now, he has tied this record, but, you know, in this game, if you tie it, your name doesn't go up there. So until he throws six touchdowns in the game, that record is not his. Receiving-wise, we already, uh, you know, Shuff has touchdowns in the career. A uh, few people have tied touchdowns in the game. Shuff has uh, touchdowns in the season. Cutler has uh, receiving yards in the career, of course. We just went over that. Shuff has yards in the game. He also has yards in the season, and Cutler has the receptions in the career. Nobody has gotten the receptions in the game or receptions in the season yet. Defensively, nobody on the defense, you know, has really had a breakout year to really set records. And who who made who thought it would be a good idea for them to set our uh, our single season pick record on the team at 17 as, as a team builder team? Yo, that's crazy. And of course, you know, we don't run the ball nearly enough to have any uh, real receiving records yet, but we'll get there. Season stats, Ty Robinson, his one pass, he threw one for nine. I mean, one for one with, for nine yards. Warfield, this season, 300, uh, 3,698 yards, 29 touchdowns, 20 picks, 284 yards a game, 61 completion percentage, 15.3 yards per completion. On the ground for Vail Leases and Russian, on just 61 carries, 624 yards, 10.2 yards a carry, nine touchdowns. Warfield ran for 500 for nine touchdowns. Uh, Madley, 304 yards, five touchdowns. Shelf Johnson, six for 120 in a touchdown. The true freshman, Antonio Smith, scored six touchdowns. Mike Cutler had a rushing touchdown as well. Receiving, Spratley, 1,000-yard receiver, 10 touchdowns. Shelf Johnson just missing out on 1,000 yards, 17.9 yards. A catch, seven touchdowns. Mike Cutler, 818 yards on eight touchdowns. For Vail, Smith, King, they all had one uh, receiving touchdown as well. Take a look who, has the most, who gave up the most sacks on the team. Ben Munez, seven sacks given up. Uh, Lambert has six, Daniels four, Ball three, Martinez two, and King didn't give up any. Martinez has the most pancake blocks with 10. No touchy to Hutchie leads us in the nation in tackles with 74 uh, tackles, 73 solo, uh, 13 for loss. He had two two sacks, also had four picks. 
For Vail was second on tackles with 55, 54 for Paisley, 46 for LSR, 41 for Coco. Uh, the Hutchie led us in ta TFLs with 13, and uh, Gomez had 10. Gomez led us in sacks with seven. Hernandez, Johnson, Abernathy, Bauer, and the Hutchie had two. For Vail, Corner, Romero all had one. The Hutchie and LSR, our two linebackers, led us in picks with four each. Bauer had three, Paisley had two, Uriah Rice had two, Davis, Coco, and Smith had one. Um, let's see, who, who forced fumbles? Well, we had, I mean, we're going to count these a bunch of drop picks. Paisley had the most with three. Coco and Favreau had, um, Paisley had the most with five. Coco and Favreau had three. Uh, four people forced, forced to fumble once. Bauer, uh, the Hutchie, Ball, and Hernandez. Uh, fumble recoveries, Favreau had two. Abernathy had one. Hernandez had one. Uh, we didn't get any safeties, and they don't, and then the most defensive touchdowns. Rice, Abernathy, Bauer, and Favreau all had one apiece this season. So we had four defensive touchdowns. Defense turned up a little bit. Uh, kick return for Vail ran for 1,500 yards, 25 yards of the return. Punt returns, 124 yards, 9 yards per return. Team stats, total offense, we had 7,206 uh, yards. Threw for 5,400 yards. I mean, we had 54 yards, 5,404 yards of total offense. <laughs> All right, coming to team stats, total yards, we had 7,200. Uh, total offensive yards, 5,400. Total passing yards, 3,700. Total rushing yards, almost 1,700. That's a, a big jump for us. Points per game, 30, 36 and a half. 29 passing touchdowns. 30, we had more rushing touchdowns this season than passing touchdowns. Wow. We gave up uh, 25 sacks, and we had 221 first downs. Dead last in defense on total yards. We gave up 500, 332 yards, um, 3,000 3, yards passing, 2,300 yards rushing. We gave up 437 points. We did have 20 sacks, forced three fumbles. Uh, we caught 18 interceptions as a team. So, okay, that's not bad. Third down conversions, uh, we only had 60 for 50%, and then only 18 fourth down conversions for 69%. We were 40% on two-point two point conversions for, for, for two for five. Look at our um, red zone stats. We were 79%, 42 touchdowns, nine field goals on 64 attempts. Um, defensive attempts, we were... Uh, we had 46 attempts, gave up 30 touchdowns, gave up 11 field goals for 89%. And of course, in penalties, so in penalties, we're dead last. I mean, we're, we're first only having 25 penalties for 228 yards, all face masks more than likely. Time to look at, take a look at some of the four-year stats for players here. Well, you know, Warfield's got three years in. We already know his career stats. Um, anybody else for four years that's been here doing it, man? Any seniors? So Mike Cutler's career. 11 uh, attempts, rushing, 53 yards, three touchdowns. Receiving-wise, 258 to, uh, uh, receptions, 400, I mean, 4,035 yards, 15.6 yards of carry, 23 touchdowns, uh, 79 yards per game, 948 yards after the after the catch. I mean, uh, yeah, after the catch, 3.6 yards after the catch, 28 drops. Take a look at Colt Brennan's resume so far, man. When he took over the team, they were 0-12. We went 3-9 year one, 8-6 year two. Seven to six, you know what I mean, in the first year in the uh, in the Pac-12, but we won our bowl game in this past season, nine and four in total, and we got a bowl loss, twenty-seven to twenty-five in his four years here. He's his job, his job security is safe. Zero and two versus our rivals, but we make up our own rivals here. We don't really care about the rivals they give us. We're six and ten versus the top twenty-five, and like I said last episode, one and two in bowl games. All right, guys, so taking a look at players leaving, um, you know what I mean we're gonna go by overall. First, our kicker Alex Atkins. Take a look at his uh, career numbers. 8 for 8 in 2015, 9 for 9 in 2016, 9 for 9 in 2017, 10 for 10 in 2018. Career uh, field goal percentage of 100%. Longest field goal of his career is 40. Extra points, he was 100% every year except for this past year. He was only 97%. Um, his, his, uh, balls for kick, his touchbacks on kickoff went up every single year. 7 to 15 to 26 to 29 for 77 total in his career. The man, the myth, the legend, Mike Cutler, once receiving scholarship offers from Alabama, Clemson and LSU Cutler was thought to be one of the best wide receivers in the state of Louisiana leading up until the middle of his junior year that was until he was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer that would take him away from the gridiron for about three years from chemo to multiple surgeries sprinkling a little bit of prayer and luck Cutler has been in full remission for about nine months now while staring death in the eye he vowed to live life to the fullest with this second shot he was given. Just outside of the red zone again. 
Little check down to Mike Cutler. We get a block on the outside, and Cutler's in the end zone. Bang! Swing back to pass. His receiver is deep wide open. It's Cutler in the end zone. Bang! Mike Cutler gonna give you a chance to make a play, and he does! Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cutler, big catch. Back in the end zone. Mike Cutler on senior day, baby. Let's go. It's only right. We're being outgained by, you know what I'm saying, almost 200 yards. We're chipping away at that, though. Oh, my gosh. Just Oh, Mike Cutler, man. In your career right, dog. In your career right, fam. That's what I love to see. 54 catches year one, 708 yards. 76 catches year two for 1,200 yards. 80 catches year three for 1,200 yards. 48 catches for 815 yards this year. Touchdown stayed around the same every year, 6, 4, 5, 8. Longest reception of each season, 40, 59, 75, 48. Uh, he averaged 59 yards per game and 94 yards per game and 99 yards per game and 62, 63 yards per game. Uh, yards after catch went down drastically his last year. Um, 16 drops year one, six year two, four year three, and two year four. So his drops went up exponentially every single year. This man is a person, true epitome of playing above your, uh, your, your, your rating. 71 overall, 78 speed, 92 excel. But he had 99 catching, man. This dude was a dog. Peter Dahl, one of our first subscriber recruits to go. You know what I mean? 69 overall, 81 speed, 92 excel. His career stats, first year, 44 tackles, six for loss, one assisted, one, one, one sack. He also had a forced, forced fumble. You know, he was a Juco guy, but unfortunately, we had a freshman come in this year that was a little bit better than him. So he ended his second year with nine tackles for 53 on his career. You know what I mean? Uh, just the one sack, the one pick, and the one forced fumble. We're also saying goodbye to Johnny Bracken, the right guard. Shane Romero, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he started every year except for this last year. Uh, first season, 61 tackles and 63 tackles and two sacks. Then 37 tackles and one sack. Uh, you know, he, he he caught two picks in his career, had two defensive touchdowns, two pass deflections. And we, you know what I mean? We, we severely appreciate his contributions, man. 6'4", 226, and a dog. Philip Stork started one year. Uh, his third year, 26 tackles, uh, 56 for his career, two pass deflections. Brian Montgomery, our four-year, uh, Brian Montgomery, uh, you know what I mean, started two years. Brian Montgomery, our fullback is going. Uh, D tackle Aaron McCarty, our first starting D tackle. He, he he got better for his first two years. Three three sacks for back-to-back -back seasons. But once again, the person came in that was just better for the job. Ryan Cameron, another first starter, 42 catches year one, 954 yards, six touchdowns. And uh, that's when Shuffle God and uh, Shuffle God and, uh, and Spratly and Harris all came in, man. The boys were, were ready to compete for the starting uh, receiver positions just year one. Jason Davis, another guy who started a couple years, 35 tackles, then 45 tackles, two sacks in his career, three interceptions, four, uh, four de uh, deflections, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. Cabral, Darius Cabral, one of the, my most hated DBs, man, but uh, 101 tackles in his career, one sack, five deflections, one pick, uh, one forced fumble, one recovery. Robert Valentine, that one season, two seasons he started for us, 38 tackles and 44 tackles. Uh, no sacks, but he had a, a pick each season. He had a couple, uh, a few uh, pass deflections, a forced fumble, 86 total tackles in his career. Reggie Neal, uh, I think he led us in sacks one year, if I'm not mistaken. He had five sacks in the second season, uh, 41 total tackles, seven total sacks in his career. Chad Walker, the last but not least, was our starting tight end in year one. 43 catches that first year, 504 yards and touchdown. Ends his career with just 50 catches, though, uh, just a one touchdown. He could have had one in the bowl game, but he dropped it. Uh, 19 yards uh, per game, you know, just his average. His peak was 42. Uh, so, you know, these are all people whose contributions contributions that, we, you know, will be greatly indebted. And, uh, you know, people like Mike Cutler will, will never be forget forgotten here at this university. All right, boys, so getting ready for offseason recruiting here. We're in a battle with two guys dominic miller cornerback and tim wallace left guard two people we've been really really trying to just you know what i mean locked in throughout the whole season but they wanted to keep their options open and i do not blame them so we have fifteen thousand points and we're just going to split it right down the middle between the two we're in the lead for dominic miller you know what i'm saying and we're in second place for tim wallace michigan state came in late and took the lead over us but it's been us and them pretty much the whole entire uh recruiting cycle for tim wallace all right guys signing days among us and we do get both guys dominic miller and 
Tim Wallace. You know what I mean? Two three-star prospects. That's what I'm talking about, man. We have the 64th uh, recruiting class in the nation, 15 three-stars, three two-stars, and one one-star, and two one-stars, excuse me. Take a look at the top 10 recruiting classes. We got Florida, Auburn, Michigan, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida State, Oklahoma, Notre Dame, Miami, UCLA. So this is the full signee list. We got, we're bringing in the running back Brewer, outside linebacker Boone, cornerback Miller, halfback Neal, two outside linebackers, McAllen and McKinney, a quarterback Moore, a free safety, halfback, outside linebacker, another corner, a guard, an athlete Webb, another quarterback in Rodgers, uh, Charles, a DN, 6'5", another tight end, a kicker, a DN, a tackle, and a middle linebacker. So by now, I'm more than likely already made my post on my community tab asking you guys to submit your uh, subscriber recruits. So uh, you don't have to do it here on this video. I mean, I know you guys are going to do it anyway, but it's appreciated. I, I, you know, I appreciate people wanting to be a part of the series. Now, here we are at position changes, and this is where things get fun. First things first, we got to figure out where we're going to put this athlete. Joey Webb, 67 overall, 90 speed, 92 Excel, 82 agility. Only 20 elusiveness, 69 catching, some decent route running. His jumping is okay. Um, let's see. Hit, tackling is a 70, 64 hit power, 68 pursuit, 71 play wreck, 70 uh, man cover, 74 zone, 68 press. This dude is more than likely definitely a DB. Now, we just got to figure out where, where at DB we want him to play. You know what I mean? Because at a 69... He could help us at corner, even though all of our corners here are going to chain are going to train. Actually, except for Dominic Miller and George Nolan, man. So they're already they're ready. To, they're better than Schmidt and, and 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 Jackson. Free safety for Vale is not losing that spot to anybody. I don't care who it is. And then Paisley is our starting strong safety. Let's see. They're both juniors, so we got two more years with them here. I really want to get Joey Webb on the field. He's a 70 strong safety, 72 free safety, 76 corner. He'll also be a decent linebacker, but we got some dogs at linebacker. So, you know, uh, do I put him at free safety? Because, like I said, Favell is playing free safety, but, you know what I mean, he'll be he'll be his, he'll be be his able to uh, learn from Favell. And he'll probably play both sides of the ball some like Favell. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put you at free safety. Even though I feel like you might could play over Paisley right now. <clears throat> uh, you know what I'm saying? With his speed and everything, but... We're, we're going to see. So, here we go. Quarterbacks, nothing is going to change. We got a 68 and a 62 waiting in the wings. We'll go ahead and redshirt them for sure. Swain is still here because we redshirted him, but he's probably going to get cut this year. He graduated already. Madley's still the best running back. Mike Brewer is better than uh is better than Antonio Smith. 92 speed, 87 agility. Mike Brewer is more than likely going to be our starter this year. they like... That way, Favell might not have to play both sides of the ball. Uh, Irby's the lone senior starting fullback. Receivers, nothing is going to change here. Uh, Sprat, uh, Harris, Spratley, and Chef Johnson are all seniors, so we definitely need to try to bring in some more uh, wide receivers coming into this season. Can't wait to see how these freshmen all train, the three freshmen we have. Tight ends, Kevon King, that's his spot. We brought in another freshman. Left tackles, Munez, that's you. We're going to redshirt uh, Paul Atkins, the Juco guy. Left guard, Lambert, that's still you. We're going to redshirt Wallace. Um, Seth King already redshirted, but Mike Ball, you know, is going to start his last year here. Miguel Martinez doesn't have any comp. Uh, Moose Daniels, he's good. Adder Hawk, will, will he be good at right guard? Mm. I'd like to see him train that right guard and see, and see what happens. Let him battle that out. Moose Daniels is there, right tackle. We got a, a few left ends coming in. Ben Charles, Juco guy, ready to start day one. Juan Gomez led us in sacks this past season, man, but you guys already know. It's next man up around here. I want the best available people on the field at all times. Braden Korn, he's holding down his spot over the Juco guy. And he's going to train, so he should be good there. Uh, Ryan Hernandez is still his spot. Delroy Vincent, B.J. Brown, uh, left, guard, left outside linebacker. Robert Macklin coming in day one, looking like he wants to be a starter, but we probably have to redshirt him because Abernathy's going to train and St Steve's who just redshirted. You know what I mean? Want to see what he's going to be able to do. 
Vince Elisar and Alex Larson are looking to start at middle linebackers. Because remember, the uh, playbooks change every single season, randomized. So I don't know what playbooks we're going to run on offense or defense this year. Travis Payton, Lazarus Hennessy, all waiting, you know what I mean, to do their thing. This is LSR's last season. I think I said that already. The Hutchie, he should train crazy. Nobody's going to take his spot. You know what I'm saying? So, Macklin over there. Like, so, we, you know, and, uh, even the people under him are not going to train. So, let's see. I'm, I'm going to make one of these dudes a left outside linebacker. Just because we got five over here. Church, I'll make you a left outside linebacker. Corners, Coco still top dog here in the senior year. Dominic Miller wants to be in the mix. Same with George Nolan. Your Ryan Rice, you know what I mean? He's going to train. Schmidt, Johnson, uh, Conley, and Davison are all going to train as well. Ryan Fravell, that's his spot. We don't have to worry about any of that. Trust me. And then Paisley, he just, you know what I mean? He better hopes he trains well. Uh, then we got our kicker, Lionel Price. 67 overall, and then Robbins, our punter. So, we didn't have any much changes to make, you know, position position change-wise because, you know what I mean, a lot of people we, we recruited this season was for death purposes and, you know, not to make that big of a splash, except for, like, some of the guys on the offensive side of the ball. Training results are in. War <coughs> Training results are in. Warfield gets a plus three. He's not 86 overall, 64 speed, 68 to sell. Awareness is a 99. Throw power only goes up one, but accuracy goes up four. So, he's still only got 76 throw power. Madley is top dog at, at, at back, 82, plus six. Uh, Antonio Smith gets plus four. Madley also gets plus one speed and plus three excel. All right. Irby, plus four. Jason Harris is now 86 overall. Spratley's a 79. Shuff Johnson is a 75, 76, excuse me. He also gets plus one speed. Uh, Green, Koontz, and Rivera all get plus four. Koontz is a speedster, so, you know, he might take up, uh, you know, uh, a cutler position, but he might just be that fourth guy and Spratly would be in the slot. Take a, take a look at Spratly's carry here. I probably could have made Spratly a, a, a running back low-key, but he only got 78 speed. He moves a lot faster once he catches the ball. Um, he has the best route running. His catching traffic is the highest. Spec catch is the highest. Catching isn't the highest with, with, with Harris. But, you know, even with Chef Johnson's stuff being so low as compared to everybody else and even his jumping – and at 5'9", he makes some great plays. A lot of good, like, a much better plays than the, than the other two. Kevon King is plus 5. He's at 84 his senior season. Ben Munez is 83 plus 4. Lambert is plus 5. Mike Bog is plus 5. Miguel Martinez plus 5. Moose Daniels plus 5. So our linemen train hard. Juan Gomez is 74 overall. Jesse Caron is 72. Uh, Braden Corn plus 5, 75. Grove is, is a 71. Ryan Hernandez is a 74 at just a sophomore. Uh, B.J. Brown uh, jumps over uh, Delroy Vincent at 70. That means his intangibles are better. Gary Abernathy trains hard, plus 5, 74 overall. Thanks, Steve, 73. Uh, Vincent Ellisar is uh, just shy of 80, plus 6. Peyton, plus 4. H Hennessy, plus 5, plus 4 in a minor. Hutchie gets plus 5. He's a 78 sophomore, 82 speed, plus 1. 93 Excel, plus 2. Uh, his catching goes up some. Man coverage uh, goes up some. Zone coverage. Uh, power moves. Hit power. Tackling. Man, he's yo, he's going to be a dog by the time he leaves here. Jay Coco, plus 5, 83 overall, plus 1 speed. Uriah Rice, 72, plus 5, 91 speed. Schmidt gets plus 4. Champ Johnson gets plus 5. Colleen and Davidson get plus 4 and plus 5. Ron Favell gets plus 4, 78 overall, plus 1 speed, 98, plus 1 Excel, 94. Corona gets a plus 6. Um... Uh, Paisley gets a plus three. Uh, I mean, plus five is now 73. Bauer gets a plus four is a 70. Um, they get, they get plus, uh, they get plus one Excel as well. Kicker, nothing. Punter Robbins gets a plus six. All right, boys. So it's time for the call-ups and, uh, send downs. Uh, Boise state is going back down to the mountain West for Oregon. And then Washington is coming back to the pac 12 for Colorado. So, you know, this is what it's looking like now. Oregon, UW, Cal, Fresno State, Stanford, Wyoming. Then you got Arizona, Arizona State, us, UCLA, USC, Utah. In the Mountain West, Air Force, BYU, Boise State, Colorado, Colorado State, Utah, Washington State. Then you got Hawaii, Nevada, New Mexico, Oregon State, San Diego State, San Jose State, and UNLV. 
All right, boys, here in preseason, and unfortunately, we are not ranked coming into this season. I'm not super duper surprised, but you know, I mean, a little, 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 little angry about it, a little perturbed. Now it's time to take a look at redshirt and some people. Jason Harris is our best player in our squad. He's been loyal. He's definitely going to be getting a lot of burn this year. So both quarterbacks are going to be redshirted. <coughs> uh, Neil and Reed will be redshirted. We'll let this three-headed three, -head, three -headed monster work itself out. No receivers are being redshirted. The one tight end, Kenneth Brown, can be redshirted. <coughs> Atkins will be redshirted. Tim Wallace, we said, will be redshirted. Ben Charles. Mm. We'll redshirt you. John Thomas. Colton Shaw. Senior year. I'm not going to redshirt you your senior year. Delroy Vincent. I want to see if he can get much better. So we'll, we'll, we'll redshirt him as a junior. Uh, Macklin and Church redshirted. Alex Larson. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't really want you to waste a year behind our, our, our All-American senior. <clears throat> Boom. Same thing. McKinney. We got some, I got some DBs I feel like I can play corner. Um, do I want to redshirt George Nolan? I redshirt Nolan and I redshirt Conley. <clears throat> Those are the end. I'll let you guys, I'll let these five start. Let's see. Joey Webb, redshirt. Luke Kirkpatrick, Kilpatrick, redshirt. Shane Bauer. I'm not going to redshirt you. I want to, though, man. <laughs> but he played so well. He actually played really, really well last year, man. So I definitely feel like we need him out there, and that's going to be the end of the red shirts. <clears throat> so quickly going over our uh, depth chart. Of course, Trey Warfield is the starter. Malley, Brewer, and Smith are going to be starting uh, running backs. But, of course, there's going to be a subscriber recruit, by, uh, Brewer. Um, Jacob Irby still starting at, at, at fullback. We're going to have Johnson, Spratley, Harris. I feel like Harris would be a beast in the uh, slot like Mike Cutler was. Then fourth receiver, we got Ricky Green and Alex Koontz. But I'm going to switch Koontz with Green just because he has more speed. Kevon Kings is starting tight end. Ben Muniz starting left tackle. Lambert starting left guard. Mike Ball starting center. Miguel Martinez starting right guard. Moose Daniels starting right tackle. Uh, Juan Gomez still starting at left end. Right end is going to be Braden Korn again. You know what I mean? I think he started for four straight years. Yeah, he's been a four-year starter. D tackle, Ryan Hernandez is holding that down again. Uh, left outside linebacker, Gary Abernathy. Middle linebacker, LSR and Steves. Right outside linebacker, no touchy to Hutchie and Steves. Uh, we got Jay Coco, Uriah Rice, Shane Bauer. Do I really want him in my slot? I do not. Miller. But well, I put Bauer as the fourth receiver. I mean, fourth corner. But we'll, we'll see how Miller does. But Bauer has a little bit better uh, awareness as well. So, you know, Bauer, you 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 played your way back into, into my slot. I feel comfortable putting you in the slot. Dominic Miller, I'm just afraid if I don't redshirt him, he won't be happy. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely redshirt Dominic uh, Dominic Miller, just because. Yeah, I'll 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 save him. I don't really want him just on the field to be on the field because if you don't play these freshmen, they will transfer, as you see with uh, Felipe Ubio. So we got Coco Rice, Bauer, Smith, Johnson, free safety for Vail, of course, spelled by Lucas Corona, and then Paisley is going to be spelled by Corona as well. Bauer will be in the mix as the third. But, you know, it just all depends on what defense we run. Price, Lionel Price is our kicker. Don't really remember if he has crazy kick power or anything like that. He does not. And, of course, Robbins is still our punter. Mike Brewer wants to be our top return man. But for, for Vail, back-to-back -back returners of the year, he has to be our return man. Um, Brewer can help back there. Let's see. See, Dominic Miller could, he just have the crazy excel. We'll put Koontz back there, and Brewer will be the third. And then we'll still put Fravel back there. Let me redshirt Dominic Miller right now before I forget. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's our best guy, but stat-wise, you know, with just his low awareness, people are better than him. And I don't just want him, 
as a fourth receiver all the time. So we'll redshirt Dominic Miller because mainly, you know what I mean, Coco's going after this year, and we'll have a pretty young uh, cornerback uh, core, you know what I mean, once he graduates. Take a look at our schedule for this season. We got a bye. Then we're going to be taking on Vandy. Then we're going to, uh, of course, we're going to be taking on our rival, Hawaii. Somebody su uh, suggested this down in the comments, and they said this should be a neutral site game, and that's exactly where we're going to make it. There's no neutral site field that I felt comfortable with playing, you know, closer to Hawaii. I mean, I could have did the Cowboys kickoff at Texas Stadium, but I didn't want to just say Cowboys kickoff all over the place. So we'll go to MetLife in New Jersey. Uh, then we'll take on Memphis, number 25, Washington, who's back in the Pac-12. We got Missouri, Abai, Cal, USC, Utah, UCLA, Arizona State, Arizona, then Fresno State to end it all off. And that's where we get our get back against Uyo. We just want to uh, cause that dude as much pain as possible on the field. All right, boys. So fresh start. Season five is here. Preseason All-Americans. We have six. Then we have 10 preseason All-Conference. Before I do anything, you know what I'm saying? We got to go ahead and pick our randomized playbook. So I'm going to just hold this down for a little bit. I'm going to close my eyes. One, two, three, stop. Bowling Green. Never ran that playbook a day in my life, but we're going to see what it is. Now base defense. Close my eyes. One, two, three, stop. 4-3. So we're going to be rocking out with a 4-3 this year. Okay. Would have rather the 3-4 with all the linebackers we had, but it, it, it is what it is. So preseason polls, top 25, Georgia, Bama, Notre Dame, Penn State, Michigan State, Auburn, Texas, LSU, Clemson, Florida State, Ohio State, Michigan, Stanford, Nebraska, USC, Utah, Texas A&M, Florida, South Carolina, Oklahoma, Kansas, Cal, Oklahoma State, UCLA, and Washington. Here we are all the way down at 51. We are officially a four-star prestige school. C plus overall, B minus offense, C defense, D special teams. Um, one, one more prestige point and we can start to recruit four stars. And then once we make it to a six-star prestige, we could recruit, uh, you know, five stars. So we're slowly but surely making our way. 77 overall, 81 offense, 75 defense. I think I said that already. I just be saying the same thing over and over sometimes. Conference outlook, we're projected to finish dead last for some reason. You know, in our, in our, in our, in our side, we're project, projected to finish at 10. You know what I mean? Towards the bottom. Uh, close to relegation. We were like third or fourth in the conference last year. And we I feel like we got better. Show some respect. Maybe ship contenders, they got us 51 this year. They think we're going to be 108th next year, then 62, then 28. So once one, most of our freshmen peak, that's when they feel like we'll be at our best. But we've been proving people wrong the last four years. Preseason uh, Heisman watch this. We got a Michael Baker from Georgia. Marcus Johnson from uh from Arizona State, Marcus Marquise Wheeler from uh from Nebraska, Joey Beer from uh Stanford, and then Brandon Bowden from Ohio State. Now preseason All Americans, they said we had six. Most will probably be on defense. LSR and Dehutchy are both preseason first team All Americans. So is Shane Bauer. Shout out to him for having a good season, man. And then Ryan Fervell is preseason returner of the year. Then second team, our boy Joe Spratley, and then we got Ryan Paisley as well. Okay. Uh, all pack 12 first team. We got Spratly, LSR, the Hutchie for Vail and Bauer. Then in the second team, we got Shuff Johnson, Juan Gomez, Ryan Hernandez and Uriah Rice. And then lastly, Ryan Paisley. So it's not a bad look whatsoever, man. Then real quick, checking in on the recruiting the board. I forgot to do that in the preseason. This is what we're working with. We're going after two fullbacks, Trey Williams, and Adam Burgess. Uh, two receivers, Marcus James and Cam Cook. All this is subject to change. Derek Ross, Ben Smith, uh, Nate Hall, Dan Silva, Drew Brooks, Nick Todd, Bob Lane, Daniel Wheeler, Ryan Elliott, Garrett Thomas, Rodney Hicks, Kellen Boyd, David Goodman, Jeremy Johnson, and Blake Hollis, another athlete. Take a look at our needs. We have 16 people leaving this season. You know what I mean? So, And we need eight positions. So uh, we just want to try to help come in and, and fill, in this, fill in this gap, man, as best we can. And lastly, before we get out of here, I want to go take a look at Fresno State's uh, depth chart just to make sure Uyo is starting. He is the, the guy. Redshirt Jr., of course, he had to sit out a year for transfer rules. Got two years there, 82 overall, 88 speed, 91 excel, 79 agility. Okay. You know what I mean? 81 carry, 79 juke. Uyo, 
looking to come out here and prove us wrong this season, man. Is this the year that our boys finally get over the hump and we possibly get like a BCS bowl berth or at least like a New Year's, like a, a January bowl or, uh, you know, an even later uh, J- a December bowl. We played our last bowl on the 27th against Oklahoma State. I mean, we're still, we still got a long way to go. Don't get me wrong, but we're just slowly and but surely improving. Uh, I hope and expect to see bigger things out of our defense this year. Uh, new playbooks all around. Uh, eager to see what the boys can do, man. So hopefully you guys are excited for season number five. I know I am. Uh, stomp and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Letting you go. I would like to give a special thank you to Isaac Johnson, Trey Warfield, Peter Dahl, Ryan Gray, Christopher Smith, Ryan Hernandez, Jimmy Dean, Antonio Smith, and Nate Mayfield. This ain't no regular poem. This ain't that regular tone, no. Do you follow me, baby?